we're still watching the grand coronation night of the Miss Asia Pacific International 2016. We're just about to put each of the 10 finalists in spotlight as we get to know what's on their minds. Now, here's how it goes. From this bowl, each candidate will select... Okay. One more. Okay. <laughs> You're still watching the Grand Coronation Night of the Miss Asia Pacific International 2016. We're about to put each of the 10 finalists on spotlight as we get to know their minds. So here's how it goes. The bowl here contains a number of cards where our candidate will select one. Those cards contain questions which were, from, which were written down by the other candidates. So she will answer that question. She then has 30 seconds to answer, and when she hears this sound, that means her time is up. So let's let the question and answer get going and start with Miss Cook Islands. Good evening, Miss Cook Islands. Thank you. Your question comes from Miss Singapore. The question is, if you could, if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be and why? Thank you, Michelle. I wouldn't feel the need to change anything about myself, I'm quite happy about who I am. But there is always room for improvement, self-confidence, education, and also moral well-being. Thank you, Michelle, and thank you, Miss Singapore. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Cook Island. Wow. Okay. Next up. Please join us, Miss Korea. Thank you, Miss Korea. Would like to call on the interpreter, Miss Mongolia will be interpreting for Miss Korea. Miss Korea. Your question comes from Miss Yangon. And the question is, why should you win Miss Asia Pacific International 2016? Um, I'm going to 어, 더 많은 친구들을 사귀고 더 좋은 환경들을 만나고 새로운 경험들을 해보고 더 멀리 더 세상을 나아가고 싶어서 도전하게 됐어요. Uh, first, um, first I can, why I'm participating is first I want to meet more, more friends and get more experience. It wasn't like uh, one, but. But when I was young, I couldn't get out of my head. I was like, I I was I I I but when I uh, during this whole weekend, when I participating, I feel I have to win this comp competition and also I have. I'm sorry, the time is up, but 
That was very good. Thank you very much, Miss Korea. And we'd like to thank Miss Mongolia for interpreting from Miss Korea. Miss Mongolia is the head of World Smile Organization, a non-government organization that teaches English language in Mongolia University. Just goes to show, it's not all about the competition. Miss Mongolia helping out Miss Korea shows the amicability and the friendship that are formed here in our pageant. Next up, we call in Miss Netherlands. Thank you, Miss Netherlands. Are you feeling well tonight? I'm feeling really well, only I have to excuse for my voice because I kind of lost it, so. <laughs> Looks kind of sexy. It sounds kind of sexy. Okay. Miss Malay um Miss Netherlands, your question is from Miss Malaysia. Do you find yourself more outstanding than the other girls? Why? Thank you, Miss Malaysia, for the question. Uh, I think all the girls are pretty in their own way because we're all so different. But uh, that's what this pageant is about, beauty and diversity. The, so I think uh, we are all pretty in our own ways and I respect it fully. So um, I think everybody, every girl who joins this pageant really stands out by themselves. So thank you. Thank you very much. Very succinctly said. Next up, we call on the Mutianang Filipinas, Miss Philippines. Miss Philippines, your question comes from Miss Japan. Name one famous person you would like to meet and why. Thank you, Miss Japan, for that question. Well, if I were to meet someone, I would badly want to meet the newly elected president of the United States of America, that is Donald Trump. I think he is one of the most powerful person right now, and being able to talk to him would make me uh, uh, give more influence to the other people because I would uh, be able to tell him what my advocacy is. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Philippines. And finally, Miss Colombia. Miss Colombia, your question comes from Miss China. What impact? Thus, does your faith have in your life? What impact does your faith have in your life? Xie Chengwu. Well, first of all, uh, the impact that I have in my life is very important because I always try to do myself work very hard for my dreams. I always put my effort, my heart, everything to achieve what I want to do. And I'm so disciplined. I always try to be the best in all I can do. So this faith is always given to God for me. It gives me the strength, give me my family, my communication, everything keeps me so strained to make all things like that. Thank you. Just in time. Thank you, Miss Colombia. I think she said it well. Thank you very much, ladies, for sharing your thoughts. I think they're very impressive, don't you? Let's chew on that for a little bit. We'll hear more from the rest of our top 10 when we return here on Miss Asia Pacific International 2016.